Tanex, Ginseng, Tonkat Ali. Do these supplements help improve erections? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm going to discuss the evidence behind Panax Ginseng and Tonkat Ali in terms of improving erections. Let's talk about Panax Ginseng or Korean Red Ginseng. Now, this works by increasing the production of nitric oxide by the vascular endothelium, maybe improving the endothelial function, so those blood vessel cells, and inhibiting oxidative stress and enhancing nitric oxide. It may also so inhibit PD-5 and help with some smooth muscle relaxation. So lots of different theorized mechanisms. There's actually been a lot of study on ginseng. Uh, there's actually a Cochrane review and five randomized controlled trials ranging from two to three months in duration, anywhere from 800 milligrams daily to 3,000 milligrams daily. And that was a total of about 369 men, 216 receiving ginseng, and 153 controls. And so all of these studies showed a significant improvement in IIEF, and most of them actually met that clinically important difference. And when you did a meta-analysis on these studies, they found a mean difference of 2.67 points between the placebo group and the ginseng group. However, there was some risk of bias in these studies. And so that's what we look at when we do a meta-analysis. We look at, is there bias? And so, yes, they did find high risk of bias because there was some missing outcome data in the trial in one of the studies. And in another study, there was very specific results reported. So they didn't report all the results, which then is, again, another red flag. And so ultimately, even though this has pretty good data, I would say that there are some areas of concern. And again, there are some side effects, most commonly insomnia and headaches. Now in the Cochrane review, where they included randomized controlled trial, as well as what they call quasi-randomized controlled trials, they found a mean difference of 3.52 points. Now that's higher than what I found in my research, but they called this a trivial effect on erectile function. I think trivial depends on how bad your erectile function is at starting. And that may be really great for someone with mild ED, but not great for someone with moderate to severe ED. Other less commonly reported symptoms can include breast pain, increased heart rate, change in blood pressure, headache, loss of appetite, GI issues, itching, dizziness, or mood changes. And if you have an autoimmune disease or transplant or diabetes or heart conditions, you want to be careful taking anything like this because it can speed up your heart rate and it can interact with antidepressant medications and medications that are processed by the liver. All right, Tonkat Ali is our next supplement. Tonkat Ali, also known as Long Jack, is named Uricoma longifolia. It's an herb found in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. And it's thought to be beneficial for testosterone testosterone boosting, as well as maybe infertility. And I've actually made a review on this on my YouTube channel. So if you want to just review that data, you are more than welcome to. But today we're going to talk about, as I mentioned, how it helps erectile function. And in terms of sexual function, it's thought that there's two mechanisms. One is that it may cause relaxation of the muscles and preventing contraction, and it may have some PDE5 inhibitor mechanisms. Now, there have been two randomized controlled trials looking at the evidence for sexual function, specifically erectile function. And in one of the trials, it was a three month duration and one was six months in duration. And they received 200 milligrams in the six month study and 300 milligrams daily in the three month study. And they were both statistically significant for improving that IIEF score. However, only the six month study met that minimal clinically important difference for men with mild ED and it increased by 2.82 points. Now side effects, are relatively rare. However, they've found some side effects, including generalized body aches, upper respiratory tract infections, conjunctivitis, ankle pain, Achilles tendonitis, and right index finger pain. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. And as always, we're going to take care of yourself because you're worth it.